Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the first 10 things to do with your brand new Google Pixel Fold. This is going to allow you to learn more about your phone and enhance your ownership. So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so as you can see, the phone right now is in unfolded mode. And the very first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the settings. All right, then you want to go all the way down, go to about phone and make sure you give your phone a proper name. So tap on device name and rename your Pixel Fold to something you are going to recognize. Now when you do this, this name that you set up is gonna to appear to other people when you're doing a Bluetooth connection, Wi-Fi connection, or a Wi-Fi hotspot and stuff like that. Also, it personalizes your phone and makes it yours. So that's number one. Number two thing I'm gonna talk about has to do with the dock at the bottom. So normally when you go inside an application, let's go to this phone application, and then you swipe up, you just get dumped into the home screen. Now, if you want to access the dock from anywhere to activate split screen multitasking, you slowly pull from the bottom, and that brings up the dock. Once you have the dock, you can press and hold on any application, and you can swipe it and drag and drop it anywhere on the screen to get a split screen working view and you can see you can resize it using this black bar right here to fit your needs when you do this it swipes away the application let me show you one more example here and another trick so let's grab the chrome application we have it right here now here what we can do is we can double tap on the bar and swap the two windows again to fit your needs or like i said you can just swipe the one you don't want away to get rid of it. Now, what if you wanna access applications that are not here, but they're in your app drawer to start the split screen view? What you can do is you can swipe this up, tap on this button, and that's going to give you a full view of all your installed applications. Now, on top of that additional tactic is to be able to press and hold on an app and get access to this screen. It says split screen. If I tap it, it just dumps it right there for you. There's one more thing you can do. I'm gonna show it to you. Bring this up and then press and hold. And when you do that, you are also gonna get this, uh, this button that looks like pause button, but it's actually a split screen button. You tap it, it splits it up and gives you the split screen this way as well. Now, some people were asking me, do you get three way split screen multitasking you cannot so you can only do dual split screen multitasking okay some other foldables allow you to have three windows at the same time so that's the little dock at the bottom and one more thing with the dock it replicates the app line right over here to the dock okay as you can see so if you want to modify this dock the, the only way to do that is to actually modify the dock so if i take the youtube application out of here now I can grab the clock application and put it right there. Now when I pull this up, that is going to be my new dock. You can have up to six apps right here, but then you can access everything else right from here. Now another tip has to do, again, with the folded screen. So for example, if I launch the camera application, normally this is what I get. I get a large viewfinder, as you can see, and I've got all my controls on the screen. Now, what you also have is you have something known as the tabletop mode. So here's the cameras on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to grab it, go like this, and I'm gonna split this and get my tabletop view that you just saw. This allows you to use your phone as a built-in tripod, okay? So here's a viewfinder. And here's all the controls. You can take a photo, you can make adjustments to the warmth of the actual video, as you can see, make it warmer or cooler, or you can reset it. And you can also change the brightness with that slider. You have the ability to zoom in and zoom out from here. So that's two times zoom. That is gonna be five times optical zoom, and that's going to be the wide view. So you can make those modifications. You have a control panel here, and your viewfinder right here. This is known as the tabletop mode that applies to many local applications. So here's one more example of the tabletop view. So basically if you have the YouTube app running and you split the screen like this, you are gonna see your video playing on the top side 
at the bottom, you're gonna be able to access the stats and all the comments and all the other stuff as you can see. So that's fantastic. Make sure to experiment with the table top mode for various applications to get these unique interfaces. Now going into the settings, I also wanna let you know that you are able to set a, a fingerprint or face ID unlock. So go to settings, go to security and privacy, and over here under device lock, you actually have screen lock and face and fingerprint unlock. So you get pin, face or finger. So tap on this one, put my password in, you can see I can add my face or I can add additional fingerprints to unlock my device. That's the face unlock right there. Now I do want to let you know uh, the fingerprint sensor is built in to the power button on the side right here. So it's not going to be in the display anywhere. So that's how you secure your phone. You can always scan the device to make sure there's nothing wrong with security or privacy. It says looks good and you are in fact good to go. Also, you have certain ways to customize your phone. So you can always go to the settings. You can always go to wallpaper and style. And here you have the change wallpaper screen for the lock screen and the home screen. And also if you go up here, you can change the theme of your device. So it looks a little bit different. You can see it is changing the color themes. You can go to basic colors and go for just regular color of your choice or you can go to wallpaper extracted colors and make it more cohesive if you want. From here, you are able to enable the dark theme and also you are able to do themed icons. So look at the icons right now, they're stock. But if I go back here and tap on this one, it's gonna take a couple seconds and it's gonna give me themed icons. The theme is gonna be based on the color scheme that I chose from the top, all right? So great way to customize it. Now, other thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to sound and vibration. You wanna go scroll a little bit down over here and you can see if you have wired headphones or if you're even using the phone speaker, you can use spatial audio, which is gonna give you a more immersive experience as you're listening to music or watching movies or videos on your Pixel Fold. All right, so now the phone is in folded mode you can see we have a specific wallpaper on the screen. When you go inside here and tap on wallpaper and style and go into change your wallpaper, let's just pick this one as an example. Okay, I'm gonna tap on home screen. I'm gonna tap on set. I'm gonna say home screen again. Now I do wanna let you know that when you make this modification to the wallpaper, then when you unfold the phone, that is gonna be the same wallpaper you set on the outside. So you cannot have independent wallpapers on each screen. Additionally, you can see this screen right here and this screen right here are replicas of what you have on the outside. So look, we have Play Store, Gmail, YouTube, Play Store. On the outside, we have the same thing, Play Store, Gmail, YouTube, Play Store. And if I swipe over, I've got that weather widget. And again, if I were to unfold the phone, that's gonna be the replica on this side and this side. So whatever you do inside or outside reflects on the other side, just be aware of that. Now, one more thing I'm gonna show you guys has to do with the battery. So if you go into your settings, these are just things you wanna be aware of as you're using your fold. So if you go to battery, and if you, let's say you are low on battery and you wanna extend the use as much as possible, you are able to go in here to battery saver and you can enable the standard battery saver, which is also gonna activate the dark theme. Let me just show you what that's gonna look like, okay? So this is gonna to start to save some battery, it's gonna limit some power on the phone, it's gonna extend the life. However, if you are really short, and if you don't have access to a charger, then what you can do is you can in fact go to extreme battery saver mode, and you can set this, so it automatically activates when the battery saver is turned on, okay? Or you can allow the phone to ask you every time it tries to do it. So if I allow this, go back, it says always use. So when I activate this, it is going to in fact turn on the extreme battery saver, 
that is gonna limit the phone's capability but gives you more battery life so you can use it for phone calls and messages and whatever, all the basics. Okay. Now there's a couple cool features that comes with a bunch of Pixel phones. So when you go to the settings, you go down to system, you are able to access gestures. And then over here, you can have some quick tap to start action. So tap on this one. If you tap the back of your Pixel, as you can see, you can elect the phone to do things for you, like take a screenshot, access Google Assistant, or even open specific applications, okay? So again, you would have to tap, double tap the back of your phone and you can take these actions. They're nice little shortcuts. Then you have other gestures like quickly open the camera by double pressing the power button from anywhere, okay? Even if the phone is turned off, you double tap, it is gonna launch. Let me do that right now. It is gonna launch the camera as you just saw. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the gestures. And then the big thing here is the system navigation. So you want gesture navigation or do you want three button navigation? You get the dock at the bottom like this, always visible no matter where you go. If I go here, it's gonna be there, okay? But then you have the buttons, you lose the gesture navigation. If I go up here, you can see it hides in the back, but it's always there when I do launch an application. Alrighty. And then we have other things like this. It says tap to check the phone. So if the phone is turned off and it's just sitting like that, you can tap to check the phone real quick. All right. So again, I want you guys to go over here and look through these gesture options to modify it as you need. They can in fact be very useful. All right. So that brings us to the end of this video. I want to give you guys a quick first 10 things to do on your Pixel Fold. Stay tuned for more detailed videos and more tips and tricks for the Pixel Fold. Any questions, drop it down below. For now guys, have a fantastic day, all right?